Hey guys, uh, today I've got a little something to show you. This board here is a Coco SDC. Uh, it's a uh, board that takes an SD card and it looks to the color computer like a floppy disk controller. So it, it reads the, the SD card is set up as a series of disks. Uh, there are alternatives to this, but this one is particularly nice because it's simple. It just looks like a, a regular floppy to the system. So it doesn't require near as much modification to the system, which means it's more compatible than some of the alternatives. It does have some nice features. It lets you swap out the virtual disk. There's a button that lets you swap disks so that if you have a program with multiple disks, you can change from one disk to the other. And also, uh, if you have a DriveWire server on your computer and have a cable uh, to connect it, uh, it includes support for DriveWire uh, that's built into it. Uh, what you see here is the way it comes, just the board. But uh, the maker of the board has a deal and he can put you in touch with a guy that makes the case here. Uh, just a question of putting it in the case screwing it down and snapping the cover on. I don't have anybody else to film it so I just wanted to show you the way it was apart and after I get it together I'll show you a little more. Alright I got the case put together. Right here is an opening where there's a set of dip switches that you probably won't have to mess with unless you want to do something special. Here on the end obviously there is the SD card. There's a uh, LED there to indicate to flash uh, to indicate uh, what uh, disk you have if you have multiple disks and then right over here is the button that you push to select the disk in this case it's not sticking out of the case so I have to take a little tool like this screwdriver toothpick whatever and push against that I think I prefer it because if the switch was sticking out and it happened to be laying somewhere it could get damaged but this way the only thing that sticks out is the SD card and if you take the SD card out nothing sticks out. Oh. So that's the physical case and board and now I will hook it into my pull pack interface, power up the computer and I'll show you a little bit about how it works. Alright, I got her booted up and this is the way it comes up. Uh, a couple of things I should say first uh, they are wood screws just that fits the board into the case so it's probably a good idea to just take the screws and screw them in the first time so that once you get the board in there and it's kind of in the way it's a little tedious to work uh, they're already threaded in good and so you don't have trouble starting them so definitely put the screws in the plastic first and then back them out and put the board in and also before you put the cover on check the fit of it uh, in my case, the one hole at the back where the switch was looked like it might have hit the side of the switch on the one side. I won't say it would have, but it looked like it was touching there and might have interfered with the switch. So I took it back apart and just got a knife and just took a, shaved a little bit of plastic off the hole there. So uh, these aren't commercially produced cases. They're, they're individually produced by an individual. Uh, so, well, <laughs> that, isn't that the definition of individually produced? So, so, but you might have to do, you might possibly have to, to shave it just a little bit. So before you put the cover on, just check for that. Make sure everything is working freely. Uh, and the nice thing about this system is that it's a minimal system. It really, it, it just does... Uh, modify the system just enough uh, to be able to use this as a virtual disk to access the drives and it does include uh, support for drive wire so if you got a if you got a drive wire server on your PC and a cable connected up this does support drive wire uh, but uh, you can start out by just doing D I R and uh, oh where is the hyphen there there we go and that gives you the directory and anything in the root directory of the disk. If you want to see what's in uh, games, uh, the C3 for the color computer, uh, 
D I R and games dash C three slash and enter. And by the way, uh, everything that's here, uh, a, quite a few uh, Color Computer 3 games and a heck of a lot of uh, Color Computer 2 games are on uh, uh, SD card. It, it isn't included. You can get it separately. It's $5 more. I definitely recommend it because it, it'd take you a lot of work to get all of the files that are on here uh, you you can but you can add to it yourself or if you want to do your own just go on the file and on the internet and look for DSK files uh, for the color computer and which are the is the virtual file format and you can just download them with a P on your PC and if you got a SD card uh, reader and writer on your PC you can write those to the card and then put the card back in here um, Well, let's just take a look at Z89. So, first of all, to access the disk, uh, you have to mount the drive. So, D R I V E zero comma games slash ah uh, dash um, oh shoot, if I could do something, uh, C3 uh, slash Z89, and now that's uh, your disk there, your Z89 disk. Uh, it's mounted. It's just as it's just like if you had a floppy controller and a floppy disk. Only it's reading it from the SD card, but the drive is mounted. And as far as the computer knows, that's just a floppy that it's accessing. So we run. Uh, there we go. Oh. I'm standing by. I'm standing by. How long do I have to stand by? There we go. Welcome to Z89. Please select your monitor type. Yes, I have a... Well, let's just... I ain't gonna play the game really, but... Oh. Well, it looks like I already started playing the game, or maybe I didn't. Get ready, player one. Oh, by the way, uh, you won't normally get the uh, uh, sound on this game unless you have the speech and sound cartridge, uh, which Steve Bork, York uh, supported on different of his programs. Uh, so if you don't have the speech and sound cart, don't expect uh, uh, quite the same sound and definitely don't expect the speech. Uh, but that shows you just a little bit of what can be done, and I'll have... Uh, 
definitely be unloading some game videos of some of the games. There we go. Uh, just a quick introduction to the uh, Coco SD. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a very nice system. Uh, like I say, I definitely recommend spending the five bucks extra for uh, a uh, SD card. You know, unless you want to, unless you want to go out and, and find it. But you could spend a lot of time finding everything that's on here. And of course, there's still more besides what's on here that you could find. Uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, quick introduction to the hardware. Uh, definitely something I would recommend for anybody that has a Radio Shack Color computer, especially since uh, games can be a little hard to find for it. Uh, this is definitely, I think, the way to go. Uh, and as always, more later.